Hello, St. John's. Namaste. And welcome to our very last assembly before the end of the summer term. How exciting is that? Um, oh, Dadna's here with us again. Dadna, it's really good to see you. How, how are you doing? You're not happy, are you? Dadna's not happy this week. Oh, dear. Poor Dadna. Do you know why? I wonder if you can guess why. Yes. Yeah, there it is. It's really sad, isn't it? The football, you had such high hopes for the football. You were really hoping England would do well. What a match it was. So exciting. So many emotions going in all sorts of directions, highs and lows. Ah, oh, but it ended in sadness, didn't it? And poor, there's Bakayo Saka being comforted by Gareth Southgate. That was very sad. And it's made Dadna feel quite sad this week. So, as a special treat, I've allowed you to bring some friends over, haven't I? That's right, and uh, we're going to have drinks, and there's going to be, look, we've got a plate of biscuits here, and uh, Dan is really excited about having his friends over, and uh, so, and we're just leaving the biscuits for now, though, aren't we? You, you know, we're, we're not eating the biscuits till, um, till, late, till later on, um, I think, so Dadna, yeah, we'll leave the biscuits, but... Um, Yes, uh, so we're looking forward to your friends coming over now. So why don't you sit here and then we will carry on with our assembly for the moment. So first of all, we light our candle and we say, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. We'll pop the candle down there. So, remember, we are with St. Paul and the fruits of the Spirit. There's St. Paul over there. And uh, remember what he said, if I can do them with my eyes shut, I'll try it. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Self-control. Well, I wonder what self-control means to you. Do you remember Mr. Harvey showed that video of the children with the marshmallows. Oh, my goodness me. That was so funny. Watching them. Oh, should I just have the one? Because I, I can't stop and control myself. I just did. Oh, la, 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 la. Or should I wait? And then I'll have two. Oh, my gosh. What a difficult position those children were in. But that's self-control, isn't it? It's about the point where we take control of our actions and what we do and recognizing who we are, of course, because, because our actions are actually really really important we have to show some form of self-control because our emotions are really really um good they're lovely actually we have all sorts of emotions we have happy emotions and joyful and playful emotions we have sad emotions and sometimes we have angry emotions too all of those are good emotions but sometimes they get shaken up and they get shaken 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 a bit like this coke can here and uh, if I shake and shake and shake our emotions, they can kind of burst, 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 burst up inside of us. And if we are not careful and don't show self-control, we could... Oh, don't worry, I wouldn't do it. Because if I opened this up right now, having shaken it so much, it would burst everywhere and the camera would be covered and it would be an awful mess. It would be an awful mess of um, spread out coke. So that's the thing about self-control. It's when we try and put some sense of control or ask when it's the right time to let our emotions out. Mr. Harvey was speaking about that the other night, the other day, should I say. And um, I always think it's quite good to think about taking a pause, have a breath when we have all those bursting emotions instead of just opening up maybe just pause and just leave this to be for the right length of time so it can all calm down and then the emotions can come out in the right way so to take a breath to pause and to ask ourselves is this the right emotion to be having right now is this the right way to behave right now what will happen if i do the thing that my emotions are telling me to do will it be um, scary for someone will it hurt someone will it be um, horrible for someone or is it going to be mischievous and cause trouble in the classroom so we have to take a breath and a pause and a, okay i've got all these emotions but what's the right thing to do 
at this time? Will it result in someone being hurt or scared? What's the right thing to do? And what's the right place for those emotions to come out? So to give us a breath is that chance to, to think about how our emotions will come Hmm, will come out. So we, um, so we have that. We have that sense of emotions and those things bursting out. Let me show you an example that really fits as well. So we've all seen this image of Marcus Rashford, I'm sure, this beautiful image painted on a wall um, in his hometown. But after that match, Someone showed no self-control at all and wrote a horrible, nasty, racist comment across the wall and uh, totally offensive and really awful. And of course, that's no self-control at all. That's exactly the wrong thing to do in exactly the wrong time in the wrong place and really awful. But of course, someone came along straight away. You can see it over here. They put stickers over it and covered it all over so that no one would see such horrible words. Um, so they showed some self-control. I must admit, when I saw it, I felt really angry. Anger isn't a bad thing. It's just what you do with your anger, isn't it, really? And let's have a think about what people did with their anger. Lots of other people felt angry too, but did they go out going, Aah! No, actually, they showed some self-control as well. And look what happened. Over those stickers, people started putting other stickers, making lovely, lovely decorations, thinking about... What's the best thing to do? And so they really helped um, make this look really beautiful. And in fact, in the end, so many stickers came up. Let me just get rid of myself for a minute here. And so many um, stickers came up that it ended up like a beautiful, beautiful image. Um, so that's really encouraging, isn't it? That's self-control shown in the right way. Oh, and in the end, in the end, the, uh, the artist came back, here he is, this is an artist called Axe, and he came back and re-sprayed it and made everything good again. So the selfish actions of someone, no self-control at all, but everyone else showed perfect self-control. It wasn't squashing all their emotions, it was taking their emotions and using them in just the right way. So it wasn't that good. You see, that's what self-control is all about. It's about, and that sense of breathing, that sense of pausing and saying, I feel really angry about that racism. But <sighs> let's just work out the best way to respond that's helpful and creative and, um, and loving rather than something that's just more and more anger as well. So that's what self-control is. It's about taking responsibility for our actions and thinking... Thinking about the things that we do. So please join with me as we say a prayer at the end of this thought about self-control. Let's pray together. Dear God, we are thankful for all the wonderful and varied emotions. Help us to know when it's the right time to let them out and when to have self-control. Help us to act with care and love whenever we can. Amen. And let's say together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Excellent. So there we are. Dadna, well done. It's, it's, um, so self-control reminds us that we have choices, don't we, Dadna? We have choices about the things that we do, how we respond to the choices in front of us. Uh, we have control, we make those decisions. We don't just do anything we want just because we want to. Do you want to tell me something about the biscuits, Dadna? Yes, just because we feel like it, we don't necessarily do the things we want to do. What's, what's that? Oh, you're sorry. I'll listen, don't worry. I know, I 
probably thought it might have been you. There's all these biscuit crumbs everywhere on the floor down here behind. Don't worry. The thing is, it's okay. I love you and I forgive you and it's not a problem at all. And hey, look, we still got a whole packet left. So that's lots of fun. So your friends will still come and they'll be able to have some biscuits and we'll maybe show a little bit more self-control next time. Don't worry, Dana. This is the point of the fruits of the spirit. What did Paul say? Love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control. It's okay. It means that we love one another even despite our mistakes and we forgive and we care for each other. That's all for the good, isn't it? Okay, so all that remains for us to do, Dana, is to say goodbye with the candle. So let's blow the candle out. Loving God, help me to shine like a light in the world. Amen. You're going to blow it out. Go on in. One, two, three. Oh, well done. Excellent. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Have a wonderful, wonderful summer holiday. Whatever happens, whatever you do, wherever you go, have a wonderful summer holiday and see you in autumn. 